Hey, here's an update to Vicky's aquaponics setup here at the Tactical Wood Guest Homestead. We've uh, added a few things. We've got uh, a roof with shade cloth and a bunch of other things. So, um, do a quick update. So, this is the film system again. And we've got more lettuce in there. We've got this uh, shade cloth on the outside that's helped an awful lot. We've got a bunch of strawberries here, but we've eaten all the ones that are ripe. So, anything there to show you. But uh, they're nice and sweet. The lettuce is doing awesome. With the shade cloth up, they don't get droopy. So they're nice and, and uh, nice and, and productive. Got some four or five different types of uh, lettuce, and they're all doing really good. Strawberries are doing good. That's the catnip, which the cat doesn't like, so we can't figure that one out. Um, on the outside here, on some YouTube channels, they call these things Dutch buckets, and they're five gallon buckets with a stream of water coming into each right at the boot and then uh, on the inside it's got a drain so it's only got about a couple of inches of water in the bottom there and with a constant feed right under the roots and we've got uh, cut tomatoes starting on several of these here so these are good so we're happy with these things moving along um, the uh, the Golden bell peppers, kind of moving slowly there. This guy keeps flowering, and the flowers never seem to uh, catch. So, on the uh, cayenne pepper, nothing's going on there. So, we've got another one on the inside, so we're not sure what the issue is with getting those things pollinated. Here's a batch that, some of these are actually going in the regular garden, and some in here. Some of the squashes and things that are too big won't go in here. So, here's one of the beds. Um, Big changes on this one. Let me back it up a bit. So this one now has the a wooden frame that's uh, more sturdy than before because we found out the hard way it wasn't sturdy enough. So this is nice and sturdy and is bolted in six places onto that stock tank. So that's our sump. Um, what you see now starting to come down and this guy is, this one right here is the uh, bell siphon discharge and it'll start going here pretty quick. Um, and that's uh, just, that, it looks like both uh, beds are about to get going on the, uh, on the bell siphons kicking in. The small feed here, this is just what's coming out of the Dutch buckets, uh, the drain there. Um, here's what it looks like coming on the inside and it just fills and drains and fills and drains all day long. I don't know if you can see the water in there, the water level, but it's it's at the top. So it's nearly, uh, nearly ready to flush through the to, to the bell siphon. We got some parsley and some spinach and this is oregano and I just love the smell of that. I gotta we gotta make some pizzas just to have an excuse to put those on. Okay so here we go back down to the bed. So here's what it looks like once the bell siphon really kicks in. So it'll dump all the water out of the bed real quick and that's neat. Uh, the tomatoes in the back here are not doing as good, um, and I think they just need more direct sunlight. Uh, so we'll eventually move those guys out. So here's the catfish, and last time I did a video and with my waterproof phone that turns out not to be waterproof. So now I've got a, uh, I had to dry it out and it mostly came back to life. So now I'm going to do an underwater video, and I've got a separate thing that. Uh, little pouch and keeps it waterproof so hopefully this time it works out better so here we go underwater this time so I'm really happy about that um, we had uh, some issues with the water quality and it was uh, not as, as clean as we wanted and it was just kind of was not healthy water so we had to do a bunch of flushes and, and things like that to get the thing healthy enough got some 
go fishing here. Get in the water just a little bit. Yeah. So they're, I don't know if you can hear me, but they're used to uh, feeding. So hopefully you saw those. Um, they're little piranhas. Stick food in there and they just go after you. In fact, they've, they've come over to the basket. So that basket is uh, a little little net pot, and we just uh, float it in the water and stick the uh, the feed in the top there, and it keeps it. You know, when before when we had the thing a little higher to where it was up near the overflow, too much of the food was getting stuck in that. So this is we just put the food on there, and then the fish just bump it around and knock the uh, the flake food out. So here's the uh, the second bed, and the celery is nice. It's a uh, well, probably six inches taller than last weekend when I was looking at it and about eight inches taller than the one before. Here's the rosemary and I just I love the smell of that rosemary too. Um, we come out here and snip off a few of them and you, and stick them under the skin and roast them with chicken. So things are going good. Uh, we added some colorful little balls at night when we were working out here. Um, anyway, that's uh, the update and uh, hopefully you like that.